Okay guys, we're back with some more Skyville. And we've been doing some more changes like we always do. First of all, he wanted to decrease our lag, so we switched over from on the open block tanks to barrels. Everything is in barrels now. We want barrels happy. Yep. See and barrels. we also we also set it up so that uh we are all evenly distributed for the kind of fluids we need for go with the flow. Yes, and even though some of them are already done, we're going to leave them here in case we need, ever need large quantities of this stuff again. We can just simply do it. Well, the the massive ones are uh, renewable, so we can like really, yeah. we can do the seed oil like forever. <laughs> and the hearts yeah. got reset. The hearts work now. Yeah, we're over 100 now, which is good. But I moved the spawner from over here to here because we need blizzes for the cryothium fucking liquid stuff and for that I needed to be snow and a tiger so giant moth spawner up there <laughs> and I've actually made it really nice over here I've already got my armor spot set up for when I get to make the blood armor and I think that's all we've really done down here. We we switched everything over to barrels, and that's pretty much it. Oh, oh, and I built that room, which you're gonna see towards the end of this episode, and for the next couple of episodes as we fight monsters. Yep. Let me go over here though, and go up and show you the rest of it. And you do have a jetpack, remember? I like using the elevators. Yes, lots of entities here. Lots Good of entities. Lord. And I'm I got curious. it. Show it up. We're good. I actually killed several in one hit. I think. Yes, and we have gotten some really killer, so another killer sword on us, even stronger than my other one. <laughs> It's it's crazy because it has double sharpness on it, which means it's gonna be insane. I got beheading, life steal, auto repair, so I'm not gonna be dying that easily if I use this this one. Neither of us are. And I call it Ultima because those of you who are Final Fantasy VII fans will definitely get the reference. One, it looks like a Buster Sword, which, which is, is what mine's called. <laughs> he names his Busters. I called mine Ultima because Ultima is like the more advanced version of the Buster, and I like the way it looked after it fully upgraded through the like iguana tweaks <laughs> to where I think it's the one that did that does the adds the uh, experience levels to the so the weapons. But anyways, where I made this on a mandolin and then upgraded, it looks exactly like it. Plus the two little holes are filled in with what looks like materia. So it, it's I like it. I was like, oh, it's it's, it's OP. I like it. I still have my other weapons though, but but he finally figured out. Oh, the blood, the bound sword isn't the most powerful sword in the game anymore. <laughs> no, but it's the only way I can get all the shards that I need. So I have to use it for kill shots on the demons yeah. that we're gonna be summoning. Yep. I think it's supposed. To, oh, yeah, I think it's supposed to what it is. This is this is huge. This is huge. Yeah. Let me turn on my jetpack and go show them what the inside of that looks like. And you know what you should have put? You should have just put some dark glass up here. That would have been cool. Well, I don't really want to break this, though. <laughs> now, I'm not going to show you guys the inside of it, but as you can see, it's... It's massive. It's roughly about eight times the size as the other one. And I put these mufflers here because the monsters can get pretty loud right above my room. And I had to move the bee stuff because they were not working over here. But after looking at the quest that we have, we're going to return in today, and that we had enough to already do, I didn't even have to move it. But whatever, it's 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 whatever. Because I'm getting ready to get something that's going to make it really really easier for me to do all the bee stuff. And we finally got this thing up and running. 
the right drills. Here. Oh yes, we finally got our drills up and running over here. So we could turn in that quest too. But we had to turn that reactor to max to be able to keep up. With this. No, it's not quite maxed out yet, but it it's pretty darn close in order to keep up with these. I'm tempted to build a couple more pre-chargers and add them to either side of the gel make three on each one, make it go a little faster. I think there's a couple in the enemy system, but we'll do it. Alright. We might do that sometime. Because I, I, think, I think we could handle it power-wise. Ow. Seriously? I flew by the freaking um, sludge boiler. Yes. I hadn't, I'm not used to getting attacked by it. Usually by the time I go through it, it's like not working at the time. And then turn off my jetpack. Okay. First we'll show you Dracu's run. <laughs> Access denied. This is the the Cribs edition. Not quite, because we, we still have more work to do in this house. Once we're completely done, we'll probably do like a Cribs edition episode where we just do like nothing but this. This is his desk. Yeah, which is full. <laughs> Want a cookie? And he's got oh, his full little armor oh, look, suit. What the hey? Is that because I sat down on this? Oh, cool. Uh, sit down on a chair. Your hunger disappears. Oh, that, that weird. That makes sense because you're not doing anything. You're sitting on your butt. No, what I'm saying is your hunger disappears. You don't have to worry about your hunger if you're sitting. Well, I don't know if it actually stops being hungry, but it's no longer. I think I think it does because you're sitting down. You're not using any muscles. Yeah, and these are my armors. Uh, I think these are cut. Two of these are definitely armors I used when we were on, and this is the armor we are using now. I made a copy, and this is what this is the yeah. Tinker's construct armor. To explain why we're using this this exact setup, we'll explain. The Tinker's Construct allows you to boost speed with the legs. And so I'm so I'm really fast. That's why you see me walking faster without being sprinting. Because I added speed boosters to the legs. Yeah, if you just yeah. watch me, it looks like Wee this is walking. And, and then we I take my speed boost legs, which have apparently gotten a little bit of damage. This is me walking. <laughs> Yes, as you can see in my background, he moves a lot slower with it. Now, the rest of it, we actually, the other two pieces, we actually made into like actual armor defensive purposes. But that's why our armor isn't maxed out. And we've pretty much beefed it out completely. And we substituted the chest plate for a jetpack, armored jetpack, because one, we want to fly, and two, the, we found out that the way they, like, made the armor for the Tinker's Construct is a little weird compared to normal armor. Normal armor, the chest plate is one of the strongest parts. In Tinker's Construct, all of them are equally, give you the equal amount of armor. Yes. Normally, the, boot, the boots will only give you like one and a half armor pieces, but in Tinker's Construct, all of them will give you like two and a half, including the chest. They're all the same. So we realized if we use a different chest piece, we would actually get more and still have our flying, so but the we're only safe. The only reason we don't have full armor is because of the boots and the head. The boots and the head, we didn't actually put armor on. We oh, what, what did you put for the boots? Because you all made all these. Boots was redstone. Oh, uh, what, what does redstone do? Redstone is the speed. Oh, okay. I didn't know you put speed on both of them. Why do you think I took my boots off? I have a chest oh. down here of what I actually use for what, uh, diamond was using the head, and that is what gives us extra damage. So not only do our swords, uh, my sword personally gives me, is a, uh, plus 18 with sharpness 5, it also gets a boost from the armor. Dang. So I, I, so, I so badly want to use this. Mofo. I so badly can't wait to use these on like <laughs> monsters because 
like some a serious monsters that aren't going to die on one hit because mine does 9.5 harder damage without the sharpness 5 to enchanting or the boost from the arm from our armor. I so I'm 19. No, it's, yeah, it's plus 19 attack, but 9.5 hearts. And every monster except for Enderman in the game only has eight hearts. Yeah, 9.5. So, so I'm one. We're one shotting all the monsters in the thing except for Enderman. Well, Enderman, for some other because of the drop, they already have. Yeah, because of the drop, enchanting. we're still one shotting them. So it's like, well, uh, this is too easy. But anyways, on to my room now. I had fun. I had fun with the stencils, and I made a four poster bed. I didn't play with stencils because I went. Given that I'm doing all the blood magic and wizardry stuff, I decided to go a little bit different with mine. And I'm not done with it yet because I want to do more. I want to use micro blocks and swap out these vanilla blocks with micro blocks. Uh, and which I did for the hallway right here, this little entryway. Yes. I want to go more in detail with my room for that because I don't really like the stencil Z. Eh, that's not about it. It seems kind of fake. But is I like it these. Or is Jaded constantly changing skin? I and thought he was a tiger kitty at one point. Nope. <coughs> and she. Jaded is a girl. Our little girl here. And you're really yes. nice they're still on your end table. I know. Um yes, in uh, in the spirit of the uh, of the author of the pack, I managed to tame a kitty. So we named it Jaded. Jaded Cat. I hope you guys get that joke. <laughs> it's an actual cat named Jaded. <laughs> Jaded Cat, if you watch this, your likeness has been made. <laughs> and I even gave her a nice red velvet looking bed. So you're in princess mode. But yes, I, I decked mine out with some nice gothic looking paintings in this pack, which I absolutely love. Put a couple armor stands right there. I haven't put them. And I went and put my reading glasses on the end table. I just thought they looked very fitting there. Yep. And unlike Draku, I used tool stations to put all my tools on so they're always available to me. Well, I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> oh, you and did see, some micro blocks. You did the uh, blood bricks over here. Yeah. That's like a backdrop for the... And nice painting right there. Right there is another painting from this pack. And then, this is two more of the paintings. And I thought it was only fitting. He has a picture of his of his girlfriend right here. So I'm like, ah. My character, uh, Chrono, is dating a redhead, obviously. And <laughs> she's a minor. She must be dead. Because well, that looks like a picture. You actually have the texture pack. For me, this is the spider picture. Yes. <laughs> this is the skull, this is a skull with rose. This is something else. Each one of these is like the basic vanilla stuff to keep me from lacking. And these are also the books. If I get my reading glasses real quick. I wish I had you. I already have my sunglasses. They function the same way. And yes, I forgot to change my skin, so... Wink. Whatever. Yeah, we're working with the boss today. And as you see, I've got all the, like... Smelting in you and all that. Yeah, all, all the, like... Open blocks, and then you have your thumb on Namakon. And then I have my thumb on Namakon over here. And this is also where I keep my questing whenever I'm doing other stuff. I'm not, I'm not worried about questing. Which is what I'll be doing before we go and to sh show them the other thing. So we're going to be getting ready for the next episode where we're going to be fighting and killing and destroying stuff. For the Blues Brothers. Thank <laughs> I'm so ah thanks to keys. I want to disable that, but I don't know how. Disable what? The sticky keys. Oh, uh, you can, you have to go into. This. Yeah, I know. It's some, I, I did that. But anyways, I've got the custom tables up here with my little lamp, my desk. Got the B analyzer, the tree analyzer, and a red crafting table from my drawer, and I got the red bookshelves. So it looks really fancy and gothic and it's nice. Mindly bright and happy. Yours is all brooding. 
And I put a sound muscle right here because Jaded likes to meow a lot. <laughs> Hear that, Jaded? He wanted to shut you up. Well, we'll be all the way downstairs, right outside the house, at the spawner, and I'll hear her going, meow, 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 like, okay, gotta put a muffler above her. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, we did do a little bit of the rest of the house, let's go over and show the rest. Close the doors. Okay. We need to put pressure plates there. Yes, we do. I changed the hallway just a little bit, put some bloodstone bricks right here because that looked nice. And seeing how we named Jaded Cat Jaded Cat. Um we we're gonna do a <laughs> tribute to Ori, Orlin, by doing a McOri reference in here for the you know, Feed the Beast uh Forcecraft uh um server and uh do everything in pink because this is gonna be the kitchen. And Draku went ahead and dyed this with the red making it look pink, so I was like, you know what, screw it, we'll just go with pink for everything. <laughs> just to be different, because what else am I going to do with the kitchen in? And then we're doing this in, like, blue. In blue. Everything's blue, and I made us a little couch. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought a blaze had escaped because it wasn't in look. It didn't look like it was in the confines of its areas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a dining room, but like I said, we're still working. Once we're done decorating this whole place, we'll do our special episode. It's just like a crib edition. Yeah, we we'll had the music and everything. <laughs> yes. Uh, for right now, and we have a trash can. We have the. Uh, Emmy condenser over here. I'm still I'm not too sure what you use most of the stuff, the the singularity over here for. I can't see you on any map. The mini map is glitching. No, I'm underneath the mob spawner, and I, I'm oh. probably being masked by the uh, blaze. The blizz. Do 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 do. See, I'm here. I'm right behind you. Alright, well let's go ahead and fly over here. To the yep. open area and go ahead and open our stuff. Alright. We And shut off power. Flight off. Thank you. Cheeseburger time. I've already eaten. While you were talking. Alright. We have a bunch of quests to turn on. Let's just start with Hell's Kitchen. Do we have anything in Hell's Kitchen? No, we haven't, because we're still... These are all the quests we got to get a lot of stuff. And, and, and Droku got so excited about turning in quests that he knocked over his mic. Your bees and things, I think, Uh, no, not yet. I have to, I have to get the genetic ma manipulation. Uh, you finally got your solid blood. Yeah. Which I already had it. I just didn't realize I did. I needed to manually submit it. So. Let's okay. go ahead and claim. Ooh. Which yeah. potion flesh you want? Yeah, we get a yellow heart cancer. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go with the left one. All right. Um, right. And uh. Yeah, you need to get to those sky shards. I'm not sure how you get those. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up how I get to the how I get to different sky shards and and for the hoarding we have three completed. We have the auto automatic miner, which is the driller and the pre-driller. Uh, we get focus brown. Focus red and a red and a full heart and one grab bag. Which one do you want? I'm gonna go through on the right. I'll take the left. Whoa! Okay, apparently the focuses don't stack. <laughs> then we have a couple more over here to turn in. Yeah, we have the uh, 
sands of time. I don't think we've turned in that uh, zombie one in a while. You know? True. It's probably available. Well, it's no big deal. All it does is what give us a half quarter heart or something like that. Uh, something like that, and gives us four apples. Okay. All we get is a reward bag for the double compressed sand. Yeah, the sands of time. And then I flew up and got us some cloud. Yep. So we get. A qu uh, half a heart and a grab bag. Yeah. And I believe that's it. Yes, I mean. Whoa, what's this? A lot of the other ones I can do, I just haven't done them yet. Oh god, dude. You have to make 120 oh. ruins of sacrifice and dude. 8 ruins of self sacrifice. We unlocked a new thing. Where? 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 For the hoarding. I'm looking. What have we unlocked? We have to get like so many of all the ores. Ores. Raw ores. Where are you? S oh, over here. Raw ores. No, these these are the nether ores. So we should yeah. Just, uh, if we just let that thing run, we're fine. I was just letting you know that we unlocked it by completing that one. We get. Oh, you still haven't told me how the in uh, interthematic pump works. I've been wanting you to show me that. Uh, we get what, an interthematic. Oh. We get a choice of an thematic pump, a laser pre-driller, or a grab bag. And we get an inter... I don't even know how the thematic pump works, but I can look it up. <laughs> um, what else did we do? I don't think that we unlocked anything else. Uh, oh, go with the go flow, with I did a few. Yeah, yeah like four uh, of them. We got the squeezing seeds. And me and him talked yeah. it over, and we've already decided we're getting the al alveary blocks. Why? Because then I can customize what the settings are to match my bees. I don't have to worry about... Yeah, this is a repeatable quest, so if we wanted to, we can keep getting these things. Hey, it doesn't say that mine's completed. Uh, it just co You just click a uh, pick one and hit uh, claim reward because it's oh. a repeatable quest. Okay, because it was like, say it was like 0%. I'm like, what? I, th I know we did it. Let me get out of my thing. I want to check my inventory real quick. Okay, I'm still good. Okay, yeah, it says completed above it, even though it's still blinking. Yeah, it's completed, but it's a repeated quest. And I did the Pryotheum, which was a bucket of Blaze Pryotheum bucket. And we get a half a heart. No big deal. Um, and then I'll lock the also other one. All these other liquids, which was the liquid. Oh, that's not too bad. You only have 50,000 of the, of the it for the second level Pryotheum instead of 100 of, you know, 160,000. Yeah. Which one are you trying then now? Uh, Mushroom Soup. Which was a bucket of Mushroom Soup, which was irritating to get a hold of. <laughs> and then last, but not least, Strong Bones. Ew, more heart containers. Uh, we want the Precision Sears, right? Because of no texture. Uh, I'll get them. You get the grab bag. Okay. Uh, we don't need the heart canisters. Remember, I made a. Whole yeah, I know that's right. I forgot. But I think you can use those heart canisters to make the better ones. I think. Uh, no, you need the you need the hearts. Okay. You need the hearts. I've already looked that up because I was trying to make some for us. Okay. And now we I got have bragging rights. Yes, I managed to get one of them done. I think. It says five according to that. Five percent done, which was yeah. Tinker. Yes, tinker is that we get was a tinker, headache. Which is a sign and a reward bag. This was a headache trying to figure out how to make the other blocks for the advance, because it there's two different types of chi of chiseled seared bricks in in this pack, and they both have the same name. And those were the heck. And then I had to go to Steelworks, and that wasn't that bad. I just had to tear apart the our Steelworks and got it. So, claim reward. Let me go ahead and put my heart on. And that should be it for the quest. Now we got to do is actually... Well, let me put the stuff in the system of things. Okay, my potion flask is regeneration. I'm just gonna put all the laser focuses in here. I'm putting everything in here. Here goes your aviaries, your drones, your 
princesses. Okay, I'm gonna I'm need those purple. Curious about this tinker. I'm gonna. Oh, the precision shears actually have a a uh, thing on here, so I'm gonna put them in the. So they the actually system. have a texture. Yeah. Put the red heart container in there. I don't need those. Put your three half a hearts in here. What's that in the crafting? I have instant health four. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that because that'll be useful in what we're getting ready to do. All right, yeah, let me. Okay, we're checking. We have 107, 108. There we go. Yeah, it's it's finally working again. Now I'm curious about this tinker. I'm wondering, is this an actual sign, or is this? It's I mean, an actual I'm sign. Over it and nothing. So let me see. It says Tinker on the sign for me. Yeah, I put it down. It's nothing. It's just a sign. I think. Now uh, it says sign. <laughs> I think what you need to do. I'm not sure about this, but I'm gonna try it. Because I just put the Tinker down and. It was a sign, just a sign. Unless it's used to make a battle sign, a special battle sign or something. No, I'm thinking. I think it's just like a troll. Oh, you can hang on the drying racks and it doesn't take it away. Well, that's all well and good. All it is is a fucking trophy then. That's, yeah, that's the whole point of it. It's bragging rights. Oh. <laughs> That's why they call it bragging rights. You get a trophy. It's bragging rights. It's all, so in other words, all you're really going to get is bragging rights for doing all these. Well, we'll make a little section. We can actually put it over here in this empty area that we have. We'll just put a wall of those. Make like a trophy things. room. A trophy wall. Okay, I'm going to get my grab bags. I got a good... Uh, and the good just gave me a cake. I have three greater and two epic. I have one epic, one good, and three greater. Alright, this one, I get a potion flask. So now I'm uh, gonna open fire the good. Resistance. The good gave me 16 corn seeds. I got a golden Nixon. Nice. And I actually learned that the golden Nixon sucks. I have a suck. hollow golem for you. A what? Hello, golem. Oh, nice. Oh, I got nightfish. I got juniper sapling. And magnesium. Oh. Nut. Well, there. That's gonna help with our ores. We just got uh, 16 nether gold ore. Uh, I have uh, 64 magnesium dust. I'm not sure what that's used That's for. gonna be used to make my mag mag magnesium in the smelter. Well this has uh, nine, nine per, a 0.9% chance of getting this reward. It's a nice Yay, reward. I got more more bees. Yay. I need to empty this. I got you need to have a section, uh, a, a, ch a storage chest just for bees. I do and it's almost already full. Good lord. Okay, now for the epic bag. Let's hope it's something good. Oh, wood golem. That'll be useful. Once I get the tinkers. You mean? Well, I mean, I'm uh, crowd. You know what I meant. Now it's time to eat again. Nom 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 nom. And now we'll show you guys the last thing called this episode done. Yeah, our spawning area. Next episode, we will be spawning some stuff, and you're going to actually see us play. Yeah, for the next couple of episodes, maybe three, I'm, we're going to be fighting bosses, because these bosses are going to be very trolly. And the main reason we're doing this is to get better armor. Yes, to get the blood magic stuff. Blood and magic. because Do I also... I need a blood orb in order to have one bound to me? Have mm. the uh, blood armor bound to be? 
No, I don't I think, think so. Don't I need a soul network? I don't think so, but you can always just grab one of the orbs. I've already got one of the weaker ones. And you can always craft one of those real quick. Cause, but I want to make, I also need this for, or I can make us a couple of the the, ma the master, the the highest tier orb, which is another thing I can do. This. And as you can see, I've already got all of the dust. Oh, wait, I forgot the, the player of them. Hold on. I can't see. This is ender chest you it's I know. I was telling the people. Oh, um, that's what I missed one. Turn my jackpack on. I'll be right back. Gonna grab the ones that I was cooking up before. I forgot to nab them. Oh no. And there we go. Keep them in there so that way they don't get lost and How much did you put your heart on? Yes. You're at 46. You're at 46. Yeah, I put my heart. It gave us like two more HP. If we could find a way to get a get the gold hearts. I there is. You can craft. I think. Well, I don't I know if you can craft. craft. And you can craft the green one actually. Yeah, but we're gonna get them a lot of them from quest. I think so. I'm not that worried about them. But this is gonna be fun. Me and you have 46 HP. All the bosses you can have 100. The two last bosses we're gonna be doing have 200. This I'm is really, gonna be fun. I'm really curious about how much damage these swords are gonna do. So am I. But near the end, let me know near the end, and I'll just switch to my matter cannon. And, well, near the end, uh, oh, I can't use my matter cannon. It breaks blocks. I have to use my bow. Actually, you can't use either because the final blow is going to have to be. <laughs> Mine explodes. <laughs> On fire. But um. Mine breaks. Blood. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the the bound Do you blade. You have your jetpack on. Uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> I missed. I was trying to shoot the blocks in you. <laughs> but yeah, this is where we're gonna be doing our next episode at, and so we're gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're slowly getting things done. A lot of the stuff we have left is just require require us just to do a lot. Which, after we get done battling all of these monsters and getting the better armor, I'm going to be working on some, um, my time on Omicomin and getting that stuff going. Because in our quest list we have... The for the uh, the pro bragging rights stuff is simple. It's just a bunch of crafting. That's not gonna be that hard. And I'm I'm gonna get my bees going because now I have all the you know stuff I need for it. Oh, right. But yeah, that's most of them. the health kitchen and the for the hoarding. Both are just mostly waiting to let stuff build up and. I'm beginning to wonder if this matter cannon is not so much a weapon as a mining implement. Possibly. So yeah, for the most part, we're we're actually fairly close to being done. Most uh, of all, the only thing I do recommend, we need a computer terminal in here. Yeah, I just didn't feel like doing that yet. I'll do I got that the initial start. I felt like just. Uh, well, you might want to put it outside. I didn't want it to break it because they're so expensive. To uh, I think there's an explosive proof one or something. Let me let me take a look. Um, but yeah, guys, we're we're getting close to being done. All that's really left is gonna take a lot, you know, a lot of actual work on our part is bees and trees and the wizardry stuff. Because most of the hoarding and go with the flow and health kitchen is all just a hey, let's just let all this stuff make thousands and thousands of the stuff and then turn it in. So, a lot of, I mean, we're, we're, 
I'm not gonna say we're gonna be done soon, because we still got a lot more to do in this pack before we're done, including, before I call this series over, I want to fight both a Wither and the Ender Dragon and, you know. All the baddies. Yes. Because we're also going to fight every demon that well, one of we the can. Is that we actually need to get the uh, we need to get to the point of getting the um, the dragon egg, I think. Yeah. Okay, and it, there's a blast resistant me drive, but not a blast resistant. Um, yeah. Turn. But should be all right. We can just like make one and put it up here soon, sometime. But yeah. That's gonna do it, guys. We're getting we're getting close to the end, but not yeah, your close energy, to the end. Your energy blaster says, according to this thing, says it does twelve damage. Yes, it does. Plus, I've I've put power five on it because it works like a bow. <laughs> yeah, that's the weirdest thing. I cannot put any enchantments on the matter can. Like I said, it makes me think it's a mining implement. I might need to look and see if efficiency or anything like that works on it. Maybe. It might not work on it because I'm using the wrong tool. So let me go get a block to fix the hole I made. And we can wrap up. Oh, I see. You made a hole. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I made all three tiers even though I looked on the wiki and I didn't see anything that I needed to tier 3 for, but it showed you how to make the tier 3 for summoning, so I, I don't we know. Might, we might get an update. Uh, we might get an update between now and the time we finish, or I might go searching through the wiki for blood magic and find some say something that isn't called a demon that requires a summoning or... or who knows? You know what I'm saying? I, I might, might find... Be, uh, angels instead of demons. Well, no, I have a fallen angel that had, uh, uh... No, I'm in uh, non-fallen angels. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if there's, like, some epic boss that I can summon with this or what. Given that this stuff seems to be devil-based, wouldn't be surprised if, they, if you summoned the devil himself and killed him. <laughs> okay, I think a, a chicken, yeah, a chicken has escaped for some reason. They keep escaping. I don't know how they escape. I think I they know, just glitch. I, I think they I glitch think. out and then the game like Let updates and then it's a, and yeah, it's just uh, I don't know. Um yeah, I found an egg and the chicken next to the enemy system, so <laughs> Oh, I need my glasses. Oh, did you want to show? Did you want to show them our enchantment area? I don't think they saw it. Uh, yeah, they did. They saw it last episode. I thought, but I can't. Just in case. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to see if this works. Fortune is definitely mining. So. No. When I put that in there, it automatically you get an X on the on the thing, so there is no enchanting it at all, or doing anything with the uh, the anvil. Uh, can you put it in here? Enchant it directly? Nope. Nothing. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. Yep, that's going to be it for this episode. And we'll be back next time ready to fight. Oh, cool. Because my sword had flame on it, I got cooked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.